that's it. Warm everything up. Okay. Turns out we're not going to be needing that just because school is closed. Yay! <laughs> oh man. Come on, you have to get clothes changed back into your home clothes. It was a sarcastic yay, Jasper. As it's the 1st of March, I think it might be time for a quick running update. I made it through the whole of February running at least two kilometers every day. I'm gonna get my run done nice and early today, I think. And then wrap up warm. Look at that. That's my definition of a blizzard. Well, <laughs> For the UK, that's a blizzard. Okay, so granted, we know nothing about cold weather here, but we're learning. I tell ya, today is definitely one of those days when I'm pleased I've got a running machine. Although, admittedly, the garage is quite cold. I should really get the garage a bit better insulated, as it is effectively used as an internal room to the house, which is why there's no car in here. Because they might have to run in the snow. This is a good way to warm up, actually, doing some exercise. Okay. Ha ha ha. I don't feel cold anymore, which is good. And the great thing about a two kilometre run is it's short enough that there's no kind of barrier to doing it, but it takes enough effort that once you've started it, you often wind up thinking, I'll go a little bit further. And that happens to me, I don't know, 50% of the time. Right, now I'm gonna preheat the car. Interior currently, two degrees. We're gonna to wanna to warm that up. Ooh. Ah. Everywhere I go and everything I do seems to require audio, which is a big problem when the only camera that can survive the conditions is a GoPro with rubbish sound. My solution is to record the audio separately. I tried that yesterday and I failed big time, like really big time. So I'm trying a different solution for the audio now and hopefully it'll work a little bit better. <laughs> anyway, today, what we're gonna do is talk about driving cycles, because there's a new one. The Europeans and the EU have come up with the WLTP, which I think stands for Worldwide Light Testing Protocol, or something, light vehicle testing, but I don't know. Anyway, it replaces the NEDC one, which was rubbish, like totally like, they were telling people that 24 kilowatt hour Nissan Leafs could do 124 miles on a charge, when in actual fact they could do 80. That's how far away from reality that driving cycle was. The EPA's one, that was actually quite a good one, I always thought, it was relatively real world. At least you could achieve it if you tried, unlike with the NEDC driving cycle. Or oh, you know what, it's a bit chilly. We'll continue this later. I'm also gonna try and go for a drive a bit later, which is gonna be exciting, because we're running out of milk, and also I've got cabin fever because I've been stuck in here for the last, like, couple of days. Ooh. Right, see you guys in a bit. Oh, dearie me. Ah, look at the icicles under my car. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can go get some lunch. Oh dearie me, I'm going to be driving so slowly on all this. This is assuming I can get out the drive. To the topic of the day, which is driving range. So I started off with a Nissan Leaf, 24 kilowatt hours. The EPA range on that I think was something like 87 miles. And the 
NEDC range was, if I remember this correctly, 124 miles. Now, the furthest I ever drove, ever, in the whole time I had that was 80 miles without charging. 40 miles to the seaside, 40 miles back. And I had like, I don't know, five miles of range left by that point. The light came on, it was troubling. To get 87, and I, I was driving really, really carefully. So to get 87 would have been a push, but to get 124, I mean, they might as well have said the car can fly to the moon. Cars can't fly to the moon. No, exactly. Cars cannot fly to the moon. Can they, Jasper? Yes. That's too silly. It is far too silly. Clearly, the NEDC cycle was, you know, totally ridiculous. Yikes. He had low profile tires on as well. Yeah, because driving slowly is very definitely the sensible thing to do here. Look at this. If I come to a stop, I'm not even sure I'll be able to get going again here. I must be a whole new kind of mental. The thing about driving in snow, Jasper, and ice, is the quickest way to get somewhere is to drive slowly and to not have a problem. So back to driving cycles. This is a massive problem for electric vehicles because people base the journeys they can do on the kind of range that the person they bought it from said it could do. So if they're just completely lying, basically, then that's a very serious issue. Whereas when it comes to petrol and diesel, there was nothing like as much of a need to get that problem sorted because let's face it nobody went well my car says it can do 39 miles per gallon therefore because i have an 80 mile journey to do if i buy two and a bit gallons of fuel that should be plenty you just you don't make that decision at all so consequently there was never a massive issue with the rating system that they had but for evs that's exactly what you do do you think to yourself well i need to do a 100 mile journey so i need a car that's rated for a range of at least 120, 130 miles. So let's have a look at the next EV that I bought. This car, my Tesla. It had a rated range from the EPA of 265 miles when new. And the NEDC range was, I think, 310. Well, 310 is impossible, but if you drive carefully, 265 can be achieved. So it's great that they're updating that and thank goodness because it's just been a complete joke I think and it must surely have put loads and loads of people off buying EVs when you walk into the dealer and if it's an honest dealer they admit that the sticker is lying and if it's not an honest dealer then you get range shock when you get the car home 40 miles away and it uses half of your 120 mile battery and you think to yourself what have I done? <laughs> Now I'm going to assume that the Tesco's people have gritted, but otherwise we could get into Tesco's and not be able to get out of it. But they have gritted it, so that's fine. The good news is, we made it. First time I did it, cool down now because I love them so much. Okay, just be careful, they could be hot in the middle still. <laughs> experience clearly we did succeed in getting home in one piece what i would prefer is if it was like this snowy pretty much guaranteed for two or three months of the year then you'd make all the sort of arrangements that you should have you know winter tires you'd be much more likely to buy a four-wheel drive car i might be able to convince my wife to let me have a p100d model x you never know when it comes to ratings of range <laughs> obviously all bets are off in winter time like this i even with preheating the car as much as i possibly could it still did an average of 500 and something watt hours per mile and that was driving at like 25 miles an hour through the snow and ice so yeah <laughs> 
The range would not be anything like rated in these conditions. But at the same time, it is important that people can have some sort of idea as to what range their vehicle will be able to do, preferably before they've bought it, which is why whenever I was looking at an EV of one sort or another, I would always just look straight for the EPA range, not even bother looking at NEDC because it's just total fiction. And that's why I am so happy that you've got this WLTP now because the EV industry was just never going to move forwards when the first words out of a dealer were this car will do 124 miles but actually it'll only do 80 because people are like well how do you know anything if this is the case I'm going to spend the rest of the day playing with Jasper I think so I will see you tomorrow I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post found it interesting and fun if you have meant to like it share it and subscribe if you haven't already Follow me on Instagram if you don't already and I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye! No, you're not going fast like the other cars, Jasper. No chance. Why? Because I've got summer tyres on this and low profile tyres as well. So, really it's not sensible to leave the house at all. But we're just going to go really, 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 really slowly and hope we'll be okay.